Hey, what's up, Jedheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a top speed and acceleration extravaganza because you know what? We're going to be testing the 0 to 20 acceleration and top speed of every bike in my fleet and one bonus bike as well. It just so happens I have exactly 10 bikes at the moment. So this is also going to be a top 10 bike. We're going to do the GOAT Motor Goat V3, the F3X Goat Cat, Wired, the Cells 5 Star, MX5, E Ride Pro. I know which one you really came here to see. We're going to start this video off with a bang by testing the top speed and acceleration of the Vitalin U3 folding bike. So without further ado, guys, let's get out there and test that right now. Come on, let's go. Shit. Hold, hold on, guys. I'll be there in just a minute. It's the moment you've all been waiting for, the Vitalin U3. We're going to just get all the performance metrics from this bike. Prepare to be absolutely blown away. I've unlocked absolutely everything. This is completely 100% unrestricted. Honestly, guys, I'm a bit scared to do this one. Draggy is set. Draggy is recording. And we're off. Pedal assist fly. Oh, whoa. A little bit of tire spin on this. Tire spin. We're moving. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 miles an hour. Woo! We're off. 25. Woo! 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 Yeah. 29. We're just coasting to 29. That guy loves to fiddle in U3. Oh, man. We're going. We're just absolutely cooking, guys. Oh, man. I hope we don't see encounter any police. Definitely going to want to take me to jail if sees me going this fast. Hopefully, we didn't tear any holes in the space-time continuum. 39 second quarter mile, fellas. Eighth mile, blazing 22.82 seconds. Zero to 20 in 9.88 seconds. There you guys have it, Vittle and U3. All right, guys, now we're on the Leguar Strider. This bike only does throttle only up to 20 miles an hour. So after that, guys, I'm gonna give it a little bit of pedal assist, but I'm not gonna be kicking in my full power of my legs because I'll probably get to well over 100 miles an hour if I start pedaling with these bad boys. So I'll just give it enough to trick it to go up to 28 miles an hour. Do you want to get time make some more small talk or you want to go out there and break some land speed records on the leg you are? And we're off. Bit of a soft start on this one. 10 miles, 11 miles an hour, 13, 15, 20. Okay, I'm going to kick. I'm pedaling a little bit now. Woo! Traction limited! Traction limited! Woo! Yeah, buddy! We're at 28. That guy absolutely loves the leg wall. The leg wall. So I can't really pedal too much, guys. But this one has been unlocked to class three. I had to sign a, a blood contract with Legua in a, a waiver to unlock this unleashed performance, unrestricted. So this bike hauls major buttocks now. I actually really like this bike, guys. All jokes aside, it's a really nice bike. But anyways, back to the bit. We're almost there. We're almost at the finish line. Coming across. Trap speed, 28 miles an hour. Woo, we made it. Ooh, 38.81 second quarter mile. 60 foot, 4.75. That might have been traction limited a little bit, guys. 10.49 seconds, 0 to 20. So the Vitalin U3 beats this to 20 to a little bit. But honestly, guys, I believe that's because this has a little bit of a soft start in there. I don't have time to make small talk. We got to get better bikes to test. So I'm on the Motor Goat V3. I have the additional 50 amp hour frame battery. Start strength is at five. Okay, and we're off. And 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 38, 40, 45. We're moving along, baby. We're kind of stuck at 46 now. And we are there. I just wanted to show you what it's like dragging the Motor Goat V3 with the additional 50 amp hour frame battery up and down the stairs. Oh my God, why did I do this? Oh God. 
Oh, it's, it's easy. Oh, what am I talking about? It's so easy. You know, maybe cheating, riding e-bikes. But there's no cheating getting that thing up the stairs. Hey guys, we're on the Ghost Cat F3X and we're off. Off to a quick start with this one. This one's got a good load of low end torque. So we're at 20, 23, 25, 27, 30. We're still going, 35. That guy likes the ghost cat. 35.9, can we hit 36? Come on, baby. It's almost like it's capped at 35.9, but yeah, it looks like that's gonna be about the top speed. And we're at the end. This thing, I have to say, the Ghost Cat F3X probably has one of the best brakes out of any bike I have, that's for sure. Quarter mile, 31.06 seconds. Not bad, guys. Zero to 20 at 5.77 seconds. Remember guys, always obey traffic laws such as stopping at stop signs, like you see here. All right guys, we are on my 2024 V1 Wired Freedom. We got our C5 set to 10, and it's gonna be set the same way on the five star and dual star as well. And we're off. Cooking along right now. 17, 20 miles an hour. 25, 26, 27, 30 miles an hour, 33, 35. I'm doing it in absolute comfort, I might add. 38. Oh, I see through 40, wow. We're cooking along, guys. What kind of performance are we gonna see out of the 2024 Wired Freedom? Coming up to the finish line now. Twenty-nine point nine one second quarter mile. Zero to twenty five point one three seconds. This is the new performance winner. Let's go test the free the five star. He sells five star. C five is set to ten, and we're off. Cooking with gas right away, flying. Twenty miles an hour. We're still climbing. 27, 28, 29, 30 miles an hour, 32, woo, flying, 36, 37, 38, 39, Ooh, I saw 40 there, 40, consistent 40, oh my gosh, we're tearing a hole in the space-time continuum, we're gonna go back to the future now, wow, we're holding 40 pretty good, guys, 39, 38, and screeching to the finish line. So 29.67 seconds, 18, 18 second flat to the eighth mile. I think if I would have got a little heat in the tires, maybe I could drop a couple tenths off that. Zero to 25.27 seconds. So this was actually slightly slower by a tenth of a second than the Wired Freedom. Actually, it looks like this one did a faster quarter mile than the Wired Freedom. 29.67 seconds at 39 mile per hour trap speed for the wire, the five star, 29.91 at 37. So very close between the two, but a uh, five star gets to win. You guys, we're on the dual star now. We go into the setting, C5 set to 10, and we're off. Ooh, cooking with gas right away. Let's see if the extra battery makes a difference. Maybe it'll uh, stop the voltage from sagging a little bit. Who knows? We're up to 30 already. Flying. We're just flying, guys. 35, 36, 37, 38. Cars hopefully sees me. 39. 39.6, do I have to slow down here? Oh, 
Okay guys, well it looks like I actually was slowed down after I already did a quarter mile. So zero to 20 on that one is 5.27 seconds. Exactly the same. He sells five star, 5.27, dual star, 5.27. That's to be expected. These bikes are a little heavier. So we did a 29.84 at 39.57 miles an hour. Not bad guys. Uh, that is slightly slower than the five star. Five star did 29.65 at 39.53. Wired Freedom 2991. So the Dual Stars is a bit faster than the Freedom, but a bit slower than the Five Star. Time for our next bike. All right, guys, we're on the Vinton level. This does not allow you to use throttle from a dead stop. So this is gonna be a bit tricky because I'm gonna have to get it going by using my legs. But you know what, to make up for that, I'm gonna pedal for just a second on this while uh, the throttle kicks in. And we are off. Oh, there we go, we got throttle, we got throttle. 10 miles an hour, we're going. 20 miles an hour, which is where the throttle on this peaks out. So we're gonna start pedaling just a little bit. Giving us good amount of uh, input now. It feels like the throttle on this bike is possibly limited. Not wanting to give you that full 500 watts of power. But you know what guys, that's what our legs are for. We are ghost pedaling just a little bit. 31 miles an hour. We are cooking with gas on our Aventon level first generation. Flying 500 watt hour battery. You know, maybe in today's standards, this has a small battery, but you know what, for this was made, this was cream of the crop. And we're coming up to the end of the course, slowing down out of hyperdrive. Let's see what the numbers were. We have quarter mile, 41.86 seconds. Eighth mile, 26.19. Man, that's not bad, not bad. 15.18, zero to 20. Granted, guys, remember, this doesn't take a throttle from a dead stop. There you go, that's we have it for the Aventon level. All right, guys, we are on the uh, Telaria MX-5. I'm on pedal assist five, just kidding. I'm on hyper mode. Uh, this thing is obviously unlocked. So I'm gonna try my best not to uh, wheelie off this thing and die. And we're off. Woo! Not a bad start. 43. 47, 48, 49, 50, 55, 57, 59. Man, it looks like we're all we're gonna get is 59. So I'm kind of, you guys could probably guess that was significantly faster than the e-bike runs. 19.33 second quarter mile, guys. Pretty fast. We got zero to 20 in 2.15 seconds. Guys, I got my blood running a little bit. That was uh, kind of scary, to be truth be told. That was 1141 at 53. So this thing was already almost at the top speed at the eighth mile. This thing is fast. I guess, guys, in summary, this thing is fast. Guys, the moment I've kind of been dreading, to be honest, I'm on the E-Ride Pro, and I say I dread it because this, well, the Telari MX-5 is faster. This bike is harder to control, in my opinion, and uh, weight is as far forward as I can get it, and we're off. Woo. Yeah, I kind of had to feather it just a tad because this thing wants to buck you right off. 47, 50, 52, 53, 55, hit the turbo mode just for the heck of it, 56, and we are coming to a stop and the brakes on the MX-5 definitely feel better than this bike, but all in all, decent run. I got a better launch in that one. So we got a 20.55 quarter mile, I got a 19, so this is a tad slower to be expected. Ooh, this actually got a better 0 to 20. This got a 1.97 0 to 20. So all in all, I'm actually uh, very happy with that run. I'm proud of myself for not looping the bike and not wrecking. Do this, so here's a Telaria MX-4 with a TC500, little 11 kilowatts, stock battery, stock motor.
All right, so there you have it. There's the results of the top speed and acceleration extravaganza. And we even threw in a bonus of the quarter mile times on every single bike I own. Okay, truth be told, I have a turbo Levo. I didn't really want to pedal down the street, so I left that one out. So what did we learn in today's video? Uh, I don't know, we just watched it. Did you forget already or something? Are you kind of slow? Learned that a lot of these bikes are pretty fast. For me, I found it kind of interesting that the vast majority of these bikes were at 90% of their speed and acceleration by the time they hit the eighth mile. So the way these things are geared, they're definitely geared for the short-term acceleration. They're not geared for high-end speed or like to continue to accelerate. I just found that kind of interesting because like the Emotos, they were within five miles an hour of their top speed within the eighth mile. You're hitting your top speed in a pretty short amount of time on these bikes. And for reference, my friend and his MX-4, the Talaria man, he ran a faster time than I did on my Emotos. Keep in mind, he is lighter than me, but he has a modified older version. So let that be a lesson to you guys. If you have yourself an MX-4 or an older version of a bike, don't feel like you have to go out and buy the latest and greatest. Sometimes you can just modify the bike you have and it can be fast, just as fast, or if not faster than some of the newer models. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. Thanks to the Talaria man for helping me drag all these bikes down the stairs and uh, go out and do all these tests. I'll leave a link in the description for each bike featured in today's video and coupon codes if I have them available. And as always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Picante sauce.